Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Parshala. Today we will solve two problems of complex analysis from the West Bengal say 2023. So the first one is question number 12 from the question booklet series X. So here the problem is to find the function which is not harmonic from this following four functions. So at first to do this problem we have to know when a function is said to be harmonic function. So let's see. A real valued function phi xy of real variables x and y is said to be harmonic in an open subset D of the complex number set C if it has continuous partial derivatives of second order and it will satisfy the below partial differential equation. That is all we know the Laplace equation that is phi x x is plus phi y y is equal to 0 throughout the set D. So now keeping it in our mind, we will check which of these functions we will are satisfying these conditions and which are not. Now at first I am checking the given option C that is u x y is equals to x square minus y square. Now to check this uh, here we differentiate this with respect to x and we get u x is equals to 2 x. Again differentiating this function u with respect to x we will get u x x is equals to 2. Similarly we can differentiate it with respect to y and we get minus 2 y and twice differentiating we get u y y is equals to minus 2. So here we get u x x plus u y y is equals to 0. So here what we have said it will satisfy phi x x plus phi y y is equal to 0 then it is harmonic function. So here it is satisfied and we can say the function u x y is equal to x square minus y square is harmonic. So it is not true option. Now let's check another option. Here we will check u x y is equal to x square plus y square. Differentiating u x y we get u x is equal to 2 x here we differentiate with respect to x and again differentiating twice with respect to x we get 2. And similarly here we can differentiate it with respect to y and we get 2 y from here. So here we differentiate u with respect to y to y and we get 2. And here you can see we get u x x plus u y y is equals to 2 plus 2 which is 4. And this is not equal to 0. So we can say the function u x y is equal to x square plus y square is not harmonic. So this is our one correct option. Now let's check another two options. What is there? Here is given u x y is equal to sine hyperbolic x cos y. Now Differentiate it with respect to x and y twice. At first, we get differentiating with respect to x cos hyperbolic x cos y, and again differentiating with respect to x, we get sine hyperbolic x cos y. Similarly, we differentiate it with respect to y. What we get then? Then we get minus sine hyperbolic x sine y, and twice differentiating with respect to y, we get minus sine hyperbolic x cos y. So here we can solve u x x plus u y y and what is that? It will be 0. So we can say this function given in option a u x y is equals to sine hyperbolic x cos y is harmonic. So this is not correct option. And let's check another option b. So here option b is given u x y is equals to half log of x square plus y square. We can differentiate it with respect to x. And what we get? x by x square plus y square. And twice differentiating with respect to x, we get y square minus x square by x square plus y square whole square. So, similarly, we can differentiate u with respect to y. And what we get here? We get y by x square plus y square. And differentiating twice with respect to y, we get x square minus y square by x square plus y square whole square. Now we can see 
uxx plus ui by is equals to here we take 1 by x square plus y square whole square common and here y square minus x square plus x square minus y square it will be crossed off it will be also crossed off and what we get here we get uxx plus ui by is equals to 0 so we can say uxy is equals to half of log x square plus y square is a harmonic function so we get option d is not a harmonic function so here we can omit this all other options other than d because we get this a harmonic function option a option b and option c all are harmonic functions so option d is only not harmonic function and we get u x y is equals to x square plus y square is our correct answer so let's see our another problem of complex analysis and it is question number 10 from the question booklet series x so here the problem is let fz is equals to z bar square by z if z not equals to 0 and fz is equals to 0 if z is equals to 0 then Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied at the origin and f dash 0 is equals to 0 option b Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied at the origin but f dash 0 does not exist and Cauchy-Riemann equations are not satisfied at the origin and the last option is given that Cauchy-Riemann equations are not satisfied at the origin and f dash 0 is equals to 0 now here we can write fz as fz is equals to z bar square by z function is given so we can write fz is equals to x minus i y whole square by x plus i y now we multiply it by the conjugate so here x plus i y into x minus i y and here the it will become x minus i y whole cube so here x plus i y into x minus i y so the denominator will become x square plus y square and here we apply the formula of a minus b whole cube and we get x cube minus 3x square into i y plus 3x into i square y square minus i cube y cube so what we get from this here we can divide it into two parts that is here the real part and here it is the imaginary part so what we get here from this here x cube and here i square is equals to minus 1 so here we get minus 3 x y square so these are the real part x cube minus 3 x y square plus i into y cube minus 3 x square y and this is by x square plus y square in the denominator so we can write it as u plus i v where u is x cube minus 3 x y square by x square plus y square that is the real part and v is y cube minus 3 x square y by x square plus y square now from this we can check if the Cauchy-Riemann equation is satisfied at the point 0 0 or not so the partial derivative of u with respect to x at x y is limit h tends to 0 u x plus h y minus u x y by h so we can calculate from this that the partial derivative of u with respect to x at origin 0 0 is equal to limit h tends to 0 u h 0 minus u 0 0 by h and it will become 1 similarly we can calculate this what that we can differentiate u with respect to y at x y that is limit k tends to 0 u x y plus k minus u x y by k now we calculate the partial derivative of u with respect to y at origin and here limit k tends to 0 u 0 k minus u 0 0 by k will become what will become here 0 now we calculate del v del x y del x that is the partial derivative of v with respect to x and it is limit h tends to 0 v x plus h y minus v x y by x so the partial derivative of v with respect to x at origin 0 0 is 
limit h tends to 0, v h 0 minus v 0 0 by h which will become 0. Now similarly we calculate del v del y. So here it is limit k tends to 0 v x y plus k minus v x y by k. Now we calculate partial derivative of v with respect to y at 0 0. What is that? That is limit k tends to 0 v 0 k minus v 0 0 by k and we get this is 1. Now we can see that Cauchy-Riemann equation is satisfied or not here. Del u del x is equals to 1 and del v del y is equals to 1. So it is u x is equals to v y that is one condition of Cauchy-Riemann equation and another is u y is equals to minus v x. So here u y at 0 0 is 0 and v x at 0 0 we get 0. So both the conditions for Cauchy-Riemann equation are satisfied at the origin that is del u del x is equals to del v del y and del u del y is equals to minus del v del x. So Cauchy-Riemann equation are satisfied and it is a necessary condition for a function to be differentiable. So if the shear equations are satisfied for a complex function at any point, we can conclude that the function is nowhere differentiable but here it is satisfied. So we have to check about the differentiability of this function. Now we cannot say anything about the differentiability. So let's check. Here to check the differentiability we calculate fz minus f0 by z minus 0 and it is z bar square by z the function fz by here z. So what we get? We get here z bar square by z square. So it will become x minus i whole square by x plus i whole square. So let's check when z approaches 0 along the real axis that is y is equals to 0 then fz by z would approach what? It will approach 1. Next when let z approach 0 along the line y is equals to x then fz by z would approach minus 1. So here we can say that limit z tends to 0 fz minus f0 by z minus 0 it does not exist that is fz is not differentiable at z is equals to 0. So what we say from our options that is we get Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied. Here Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied and at the origin and f does 0 is equals to 0. This is not true. Cauchy-Riemann equations are satisfied at the origin but f does 0 does not exist. So it is correct option. Cauchy-Riemann equations are not satisfied at the origin. It is false. Cauchy-Riemann equations are not satisfied at the origin and these two options are false. We can say so option B is the only correct option. Thank you for watching.